Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use a date formula in Excel. Date function in Excel returns the serial number of a date when we feed in the year, month and the day value in it. So let me show you how this works. I type date, I hit tab to autocomplete the function. In year I type 2014. In month I type 3 and in the day I type 1. So this is 1st March 2014. Now when I control enter you can see that it has given me a date which is 1st March 2014. An interesting thing to note here is that as of now the date format is selected but if I change this to number then it returns a serial number and Excel stores all the dates as serial numbers. Uh, the way you display it is uh, the trick of number formatting but a date would always be uh, represented by a serial number in Excel. So now let's do the same thing here. Uh, I'll type 2014 comma 3 comma 1 and now when I hit enter it gives me the date these both these values are the same but since this is in general format this gives me the serial number and since this is date format here this gives me the date of that serial number here I manually entered these values but you can also uh, give cell reference so here I have these values in A3, B3 and C3 I type A3 for year for month I type B3 and for day I take C3 and I hit control enter and this would give you the same result. Now you notice that I had keyed in 2014 as the year but if I only key in 14 and 3 and 1 see what happens. This gives me a date for 1914 and not 2014. The reason is that if you use two digits Excel always interpret interpret as uh, the year in 1900s. So it is always best to use uh, the four uh, number year whenever you're working with date function. You can also use uh, negative values in date. So if I use 2014 and as month I give minus one and one as the day. See what happens. This gives me 1st November 2013. The reason is that when I type minus 1, it goes back one month in 2013. So if I type say 0 here, see what happens. It gives me 1st December 2013 because I have given the month as 0. But if I give minus 1, then it goes back one month from December and it gives me 1st November 2013. Similarly, I can go overboard and give a number which is higher than 12 for months. So in this case, if I type 13, which is not a, a valid month number, Excel would go ahead one month and give me the date in 2015. So in this case it gives me 1st January 2015 because I gave 13 here while the months can only be represented in 12s. Similarly I can do this for date as well so I have 2014 I give month as 1 and I give date as minus 10. Now since minus 10 is not a valid date Excel would go back 10 days in December and gives me the date of 21st December 2013. See what had happened had I given 0 here. If I give 0 here it gives me 31st December 2013 but since I'm giving minus 10 it goes back 10 days from 31st December and gives me 21st December. Similarly I can go overboard and give a day number which is higher than 31 so in this case let me give it 41 and when I press control enter see it gives me 10 February 2014 the reason is that 41 is not a valid day number it could only be up to 31 but since Excel can make the calculations it goes over 10 days in the next month since these are serial numbers you can make you can do calculations using this so if I have 2014 uh, the month is 1 and the 
day is 41 as I just used and if I add 10 days to it Excel would give me 20 February 2014 as the date because it can add 10 days to it so if you go back here and change this to general number formatting you can see it's 41690 and if I do not add this 10 to it then it would be in the general formatting 41680 so all it has done is added 10 serial numbers which is equivalent to 10 days so this is how date function works in Excel I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day